it's time for The Clash. And like an irritating itch that just won't go away, the Duke of Sussex has given yet another interview, this time sitting down with his so-called archenemy, the British press. That's right, speaking to Bryony Gordon from the Daily Telegraph, another of his journo BFFs, Harry continued to burn bridges with his family, making this audacious demand of the Prince of Wales. He said, I'm willing to forgive you for everything you've done, and I wish you'd actually sat down with me properly, and instead of saying I'm delusional and paranoid, actually sit down and have a proper conversation about this. Because what I'd really like is some accountability and an apology to my wife. Hmm. Yesterday, Clarkson, Jeremy Clarkson, gave a lengthy apology to his wife, Megan, for a controversial column about her in December. He also took accountability for his actions. And this is how the Sussexes repaid the favour. They said... What remains to be addressed is his long-standing pattern of writing articles that spread hate, rhetoric, dangerous conspiracy theories and misogyny. Unless each of his other pieces were also written in a hurry, as he states, it is clear this is not an isolated incident shared in haste, but rather a series of articles shared in hate. So the apology was thrown straight back into Clarkson's face in a statement intended to ruin and destroy the man. All this talk about reconciliation is nothing but a facade because what this pair are really motivated by is revenge. Tell me if I'm wrong. Do you believe the Sussexes really want to make peace with their enemies, including the royal family, down at gbnews.uk? Vote in our poll at GB News. But to debate this now, I'm joined by the royal biographer and editor-in-chief of Majesty magazine, Ingrid Seward, former apprentice star, Bush with Shake, and broadcaster, Narinda Kerr. So, Ingrid Seward, if you were the royal family right now, surely you would be looking at the way the Sussexes responded to the Clarkson apology and thinking, hang on a moment, this probably isn't a very good idea, apologising and taking accountability uh, for doing nothing, because actually we're just going to get a whole torrent of abuse back from Harry and Meghan anyway. Nothing satisfies them, Ingrid. No, you're right, nothing satisfies them, but I don't think... For one moment, the royal family are much too grand to compare themselves to Jeremy Clarkson and his kind of apology. But I think what they're saying is, what are we apologising for? For giving Harry and Meghan the most wonderful wedding ever experienced, I think, at Windsor Castle, certainly within living memory, for giving them money, for helping them when they moved to California, for looking after them, for trying to make life really smooth for them and bending to their will on every occasion. What are they apologising for? I know that's what the king must be saying to himself. What am I meant to be apologising for? Um, And why should I apologise to Meghan, who's done nothing but trash my my family and, and the monarchy? I think that's a great point, Ingrid. I mean, Narinda Kerr, look at how they reacted to the Clarkson apology. Not only did they not accept the apology, Narinda, they've actually now launched an international campaign to try and get the guy completely cancelled. And that's starting to happen. Amazon and now it looks like ITV might do that. So personally, Narinda, and you're not going to like this, Clarkson should never have apologised Good God damn, the man is a legitimised and celebrated misogynistic bully. They, they didn't have to accept his apology. His apology was a weak attempt well, Narenda, to I'm save just, his Narenda, life. Hold up one second, Korea. hold up one second, because I'm going to bring some facts into this. The only person out of the two people who you are mentioning that has been accused multiple times of bullying and was subjected to a Buckingham Palace investigation was Meghan Markle. Show me any evidence that Jeremy Clarkson has ever bullied anyone. Uh, He attacked a colleague and he was sacked. He has made repeated offences. The man is nearly a pensioner and he repeatedly is disgusting, vile and made a sexually violent speech about Meghan Markle. This Which isn't I don't just an agree attack with, on Meghan Markle. This is an attack on all women. That man should never be given a platform. This isn't cancelling. That man should never have been given work. We need to get rid of him because he's dangerous. Damn, you can't say this. Okay, way. So you, but it is cancelling you want to cancel women, him. And Jeremy Clarkson isn't attacking women. He is vile. Okay, okay, but can I just clarify? You do want to cancel him. 
I think I, he should never have a platform. He yeah, is so you disgusting. Want to cancel him. Okay, uh, you want to... made, well, what do you think? That a sexually violent hate Look, article. Okay, well, you've asked me the platform. question, Narinda, so let me respond. I'll tell you what I think. Do I agree with Clarkson's column? Absolutely not. Would I have written it myself? Absolutely not. Do I think it has been completely taken out of context? Yes. He was making a reference to a fictitious scene in Game of Thrones. He should have explained that. It but it was has a been hate He should have been arrested, in fact. He should be fired and never been given a platform Arrested again. for this what? This man is a serial offender. Arrested this for what? The By the thought police. Sorry? Arrested for what, Narinda? Hate speech. He's incited hate against women. The man is dangerous. Bushra, do you want to He's respond to that? Fired. Narinda, let, uh, let how Bushra about, respond. How about, how about we calm down? I, we, we, we're going to use this word misogynistic. Everyone wants to use this word misogynistic. Do we really know what it means? Come on, give the guy a break. Let's stop character assassination. We are talking about Meghan Markle. She has main character syndrome. She's an American coming to Great Britain and wants to take over. Harry needs to grow a pair. He needs That's to grow right. a pair. You sound, he needs to stop. You sound he needs to awful. stop. You no, are no, 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 no. Right. A, a misogynist. He is hating towards all women. Oh, and he's not. As a no, woman he's not hating. He's so not what? hating to all women. No, no, no. You no, are part stop. of the problem. Narinda, Narinda, stop taking it from one extreme to another. He did not attack all women. Do I agree with what he said? No. Cancel That's culture. It. Let's no. leave that That's out. No, let's stop at cancel culture. No. We do have he free speech here. He wanted it naked. Okay, and okay Narinda, Narinda, you've had speech. your say loud and clear. I want to bring Ingrid back in. Ingrid, look, I don't think we have to agree with what Jeremy Clarkson said. He's admitted himself he made a huge mistake in writing that column, Ingrid. But don't you think it's quite sinister and chilling that we have big companies like Amazon and ITV seemingly cancelling folk on the behest of two privileged members of the royal family or former members of the royal family and Harry and Meghan? I do find that quite chilling because it makes it it makes you feel though you, you cannot say anything about any anyone that might be taken as being slightly derogatory by right. someone whatever you say whatever we say tonight however nice it might be someone might be offended and then you'll never be on air again no i am not a fan of what clarkson wrote but people read him because he is so rude. I'm not saying he's misogynist, he's just rude. And that's why people like him and that's why people read his column. Maybe he won't have a column anymore, we don't know. But I don't think, I don't like this cancel thing just because you've upset somebody else. I'm not just a Sussexes. I think that people should be, I, I'm really pro free speech. You don't have to be unkind in what you say to get your point across. And it's but only he was when people kind of it. He was not kind of dealing with each other that things go wrong. Yeah. yeah, but you know what? And this is my final word on the matter, Narinda. If you go down this path, very soon you'll be finding that it's you who is cancelled. Narinda, you don't cancel views that you find offensive or that you disagree with, because otherwise Dan, welcome, we are heading to, the to world. tyranny. Dan, welcome to a world where what you say has consequences. And no matter how rich or famous you are, you will be fired okay. because we do not accept that world. Narinda Kerr, the arch proponent for cancel culture. Thank you so much. Alongside her, the editor-in-chief of Majesty magazine, Ingrid Seward, and the former apprentice star, Bushra Sheikh. But who do you agree with? Do you believe these claims that the Sussexes just want accountability from their enemies, including the royal family? Well, Liam on Twitter says, no, they do not. The Sussexes policy is destroy and destruct. And this latest episode is plain proof of that. Oh, my goodness, Liam, you took the words right out of my mouth. Couldn't agree more. Uh, from Eden. After their ungracious reaction to Clarkson, I doubt they will ever receive another apology. I hope that's the case. I'll certainly never be apologising to them. And from Sean, Harry and Meghan, a typical cancel culture, wokes that could cause bother in an empty room. They have few friends, but are keeping their enemies closer to stir things up. And your verdict is now in, well, this one is our most overwhelming poll in some time. Just 5% of you agree that the Sussexes just want accountability. 95% of you say otherwise.